hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel west indie collection i am glad to have you guys back if you are new to my channel welcome but yeah your girl your girl got something to talk about okay and um yeah and i'm loving the feedback as far as like what should i call you guys you guys are definitely like my family now like mwah, like swear but um yeah i saw things like west envy uh besties or um the indies or westies yeah i'm peeping it so i'll definitely consider probably doing like a toll one day i'm just gonna do some more thinking on it but yeah so basically this video is going to be about my recent experience linking up with marcus marcus again and this is marcus from atlanta street interviews and i just feel like this is definitely something i need to address and shoot so if y'all want to hear what i have to say then keep on watching make sure you guys like this video hit the push notifications and subscribe to my youtube channel and let's get right into it okay you guys so basically i'm gonna tell you guys what happened the other day when i linked with marcus okay as you guys know like he obviously interviewed me about my homelessness in atlanta and everything and me and him began having like a friendship you know and so recently we linked up because it was actually something that he had of mine so it was like you know something that i needed to link up with him anyway for but basically um so the day before yesterday we linked up and wait was it yesterday no i think it was yesterday you guys i don't think it was the day before yesterday i think it was yesterday but basically we linked up and he was telling me he was gonna show me something and you know we we're just having cool vibes and you know we just talk about how we're gonna meet up with each other and basically um because he just wanted to like show me some things and then also for me to get what i needed and we ended up going to get something to eat at this restaurant it was like you know like a tacos and a tequila like spot and so we had like a drink of course he treated me to some food mind you um earlier that day because i did have court and i had him stop me at dunkin donuts and you know i was nice enough and got him something well he um a cup of coffee but we end up linking up again afterwards and that's when we i'm getting something to eat having a drink and then we we're gonna go back to his place to basically um catch up on some things so i want to say like everything was going so good like just on some chill like good vibes i mean like talking about things all types of stuff so i'm in his crib and you know after i um you know we got done doing what we had to do we just like chilled just a little bit more until it's time for me to go pick up my kids so basically you know um everything was going good and then that's when i actually started to like understand some of the things that he was saying to me because we were talking about like if a dude gonna take you serious like different things like that mind you he kind of know about my um my ex like me and his situation and stuff you know but anyways so we're out on his balcony at this point ah! <laughs> we're out at his um balcony at this point and we were talking about oh let me say this and like he really he's a gemini and uh, i don't know if that's why but like i'm just gonna say that i see why some of his like subscribers or whoever comment on his youtube is saying certain things about him because the way he just showed me mm -mm. so basically you know we're talking and we get on this thing like he's trying to make it seem like oh yeah i'm gonna keep it real blunt and real with you guys he basically wanted to f me well have sex with me and i told him you know obviously i wasn't with it because i know he liked to do like things raw and i'm not doing no raw nothing wrong with him i'm not doing nothing wrong with him and so basically he was like feeling some type of way he was like but you did it with your ex da, da, da. i'm like but yeah that was someone i was in a relationship with like you know it was basically like he just kept trying to like question me as if like 
I didn't have no rights to my body like as if like I had to like do something with him and I was just keeping it real with him you know and so after that basically we were talking about that and then we were talking about like the type of guys like who may not go after me because I have two other baby dads and like because they're not um they don't got money or they're like probably not doing nothing like I guess too great in life or whatever so guys are gonna look at me for not for me but basically who I messed with in my past and I was actually trying to understand him from like to a degree like understand where he coming from and stuff you know like see what's making sense to me but then again it's like ain't no man made gonna like control me and my future like i feel like if a dude really wants me like he's gonna want me for me and not care about who i dealt with because he's gonna see the value in me and know like i'm a, a woman of worthy and everything and that i am more than that i just make poor decisions of the guys who obviously i talk to but that's obviously obviously not what i want in life out of a dude you know and so as we like continue on talking or whatever i'm like so i then brought up like you know to like famous people i said so what do you say about i was like what do you say about drea you know michelle like drea or um joey chives or chives i think i'm saying her name right joey chives i think i'm saying her name right and mind you like i knew drea before like joey and i think they both are beautiful women so this will have nothing to really do with them but i use them two as an example because they are obviously like you know famous as well and they have um i think they are both on their third baby dads and they're not like obviously with them so even though i don't have a third baby dad i have two but i was like so are you trying to say the same thing for those for them too like like what is the difference between me and them when they're not with those guys but yet they got three baby dads two baby dads so what difference you know basically coming from me so i really feel like he was trying to downplay me right in my face this is the nerve this is exactly what this dude tried to say to me in my face right when i'm in his place he's gonna say they are extremely beautiful and then he's gonna like tell me so i was like hold on extremely beautiful so i'm like so you're not trying to say like i'm basically beautiful like what does that have to do with it he's like um he was like i don't think no one or something is not not like a 10 out of 10 and he and then he basically told me to my face that i am not a 10 out of 10. don't mind that bug in the background you guys i'm outside on the porch but he's basically trying to say like i'm not a 10 out of 10 like he literally bluntly admitted that to my face and then he had a nerve to say, well, he said, you're beautiful. But he tried to, that's when he started trying to play me, like, as if, like, they were probably, like, way prettier than me. So that's why, like, their situation's okay. Because I said, what difference does it make? The only difference is, is that they were rich men. And the dudes that I had kids with are obviously not rich or got it like that. But what does that got to do with me? Like, they have kids and they're not obviously with their baby dad. So, like... He was basically trying to say like his excuse was they are extremely beautiful and then he started mentioning something like um there's levels to this so i just that right there he just turned me off for that moment and i'm like look you could go like you could take me home so i try my best to not like respond back to him try to argue with him of course like he started trying to like have conversation like you know i didn't you know like just try to say certain things try to like get me to talk but i i was like mm -mm, i'm just ready to go so yeah like eventually we did leave and um eventually we did leave and he basically took me to where i wanted to go or whatever and then when we got out he said i think like have a good day but when we were in his whip he gonna be like um so what you mean like about people on my page saying things about me you're kind of coming for me or something like that and i just told him flat out like i don't want to talk about it like because i already knew like him questioning me could probably try to get me worked up and i and i just like really didn't like want to go there so i just think this is just i just can't believe how something was going so well and then like that happened like i just it just seemed like every time i meet a person they like will be cool at first and then later on down the road they start to show me a red flag or do something to do me dirty that i just don't like and so basically like i'm done like talking to him and everything he hasn't reached out to me since but you guys like that was not cool of him like 
he I feel like he was basically like trying to come for me like play me right in my face in his crib and that was just so like disrespectful like dang like at least if you didn't think I was as beautiful or something like you could have just kept that to yourself like of course I would want someone to keep it real with me and stuff but like if you gotta like make me like I just felt like he tried to like put me down and I didn't like that I'm a woman like i'm gonna like you know like stick up for myself or whatever and i did feel some type of way because i didn't understand like what do me having baby dads that's not rich and then here are these ladies they are in the same situation as me but the only difference is is that their dudes their um baby dads are rich but still like are you trying to devalue me or lower me as a woman because I'm not like super famous yet or something or like are you trying to say like I'm not like them type of women like I don't know what he was trying to do but all I know is that was really rude of him and disrespectful and I really felt like he was coming for me in my face I don't know comment below and tell me guys what you guys think but that right there like I don't know if he was saying that because I didn't have sex with him like I don't know but I don't know but like he is it's almost as if like he expect like i had to do something with him and then he went on saying like oh well you know i know i took y'all to eat i brought you over here as if he was expecting that in return like just expecting me to just give him some in return and he doesn't like you know obviously using condoms and stuff and i'm not gonna have no raw sex with you like no i don't owe you anything I don't owe him anything so I just can't believe like I'm just put in a situation and a dude just kind of like just try to make me feel down as if like I'm not as pretty and like let me be clear he did say like you are beautiful but the way that he, the way that he sounded how he described when we were talking about that like conversation he gonna say they are extremely beautiful as if like I'm not as pretty or something or don't deserve a man or whatever the case may be but that was just really messed up on his part and that's how I'm and that's the reason why I'm thinking like wow like I wonder why people probably on his post like don't really care for him because that right there like so yeah I felt like disrespected I felt like he was trying to play me right in his face at his crib and I basically like wasn't with it at all but and i and i told him to his face i was like i am extremely beautiful because like he's not about to try to knock me down like i was like i am extremely like beautiful like as if he was trying to say i was as pretty or something but and then he just tried to um then he started like mentioning like kevin samuels and stuff but look y'all i was actually trying to like see from his perspective of certain things like basically just what we was talking about at the moment and I was basically just trying to express an event to him and stuff. And that's when he went all into that, like, trying to, like, make it seem like I'm less than and stuff. So that wasn't cool at all. Like, at all. So, and he said something like, Kevin Samuel said something like, you make your bed and now you got to lay in it as if, like, ain't no, like, for example, I'm not going to see, like, no higher man. I'm going to, like only come across men of the men that I was already dealing with like those types and I feel like that's not true like that's not true like how is a man made going to determine my future and who I'm going to deal with in my future like can't nobody control me or tell me who I will like be with like I don't like that but I do get certain points like how some guys probably will look at your past like oh well she was with him so why would she be with me or she dealt with a homeless dude or she deals with dudes who's not about their money and stuff but that's really not me and like you guys have also said like I deserve better so if that's the case I deserve a nice financial man and not a man that I have been with because I didn't want men like that but we all make mistakes and stuff but i definitely know my worth is just sometimes we just choose to like settle for less and stuff but like i said things were going so good and then that's when he made that comment and it's just the way that he said it like as if he just said it so like flawless effort, um effortlessly to me and it's just like i just was not feeling that comment that he said to me at all so like I said, I don't know if he said it because I didn't do anything with him in his crib or what, but no. So I just wanted to just put that out there and 
yeah you guys so i'm just gonna be cool off people because like you just don't know people's like true intentions like you don't know people's true intentions at all but and what else did i say i think i said something like so you're trying to say like i can't be a housekeeper and then come across a rich dude he was like um they were actually actually some rich dudes will like that coming across you know someone who may have a basic job or something like that but as far as like the type of men that you deal with they're probably not gonna wanna, like deal with someone like that but like they most definitely will mess with someone who is not and then this is was my point i was trying to get across i don't know really the point he was trying to get across but this was my point i was trying to get across i was trying to get across like being that for example if i'm a housekeeper or something let's say i don't have a car i'm taking the bus to train i'm most likely gonna see guys on that type of level but guys who are obviously catching a bus catching a train or like so like basically if you're a woman let's say making you know a lot of money like 500k a year and then you, you dealing with say nfl player whatever like i feel like you may attract guys in the higher price brackets versus a higher like say an nfl player coming across like someone who works at for example like wendy's you know what i'm saying like so i feel like guys may date women in those type of brackets of like well, like price brackets um that may be like the case but like as far as like you know like that's the only thing i could pretty much like think of like that's how people usually tend to do it you know but um i get some like people who prior famous may deal with like people low-key that's not like famous they keep things you know on the low but i mean because that could happen but that was like a point i was trying to make and he made it seem like that wasn't like quite true or necessarily has to happen but the point where he the point where he was trying to make like i don't know i just feel like he just trying to like down me because that was the first comment he said was when I mentioned their two names and um, that they had a couple baby dads, but their baby dads is obviously rich. The first thing he said out of his mouth was, they are extremely beautiful. Like, okay. And then, like I said, he had the nerve to say, like, I'm not a 10 out of 10. He said, nobody's a 10 out of 10. But you just said that they're extremely beautiful. So what is that? So yeah, I feel like he was definitely trying to downplay me in my face or whatever. Like, so I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think below, but I'm just chilling off like certain people. I'm just going to continue to be me, Wesley, me, mommy, baby. But I just don't like when people try to make me feel bad or try to make it seem like I'm not as pretty or just try to like compare me or whatever. Because if that's the case, do not be around me. Do not try to like, you know, like you don't, if you have negative thoughts or anything, keep that to yourself. I don't have to hear it. Everybody is, you know, have their own freedom of speech or have to can have their own opinions, whatever. But do you got to like say it to me, especially if it's on one air that I didn't ask for or say it to my face? Like it was like just so random. So it's like, why well, try to put the next person down and I'm a whole female? Like I'm not even a male. You know what I'm saying? so like i just didn't like that at all so comment below if you guys think i'm right or wrong for wanting to leave um at his place um let me know like you know if he was wrong about what he said to me or that he just could have kept it to himself or let me know if you guys think maybe i just didn't understand him and i should have just taken the wrong way but i just felt like that was not like a compliment I, like i really felt like he was trying to like downplay me or something so that's the only reason why i started to feel uncomfortable and i wanted to leave but anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys are following me on all my platforms i make sure i list them below definitely continue to support my gofundme i appreciate all the help that i have received so far and i just I gotta definitely just use some love because I'm just tired of this thinking I meet like someone cool and they start to show me their intentions and then boom it's like I'm falling out with somebody again in my life and I'm just tired of it like where is the real people where is the real people where is the real people at like I just want genuine people around me not people who's gonna put me down or say some slick shit like no I don't want that in my life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like this video hit the push notifications and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys next time